Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Exo Square Double Shade Pendant 139625. This is going to be the one that's 16 inches square. There's one larger than this that is 20.6 inches square. You should check that out. There's also a video on that guy, 139630. But we are talking about the 139625 right now. So let's dive in. So let's talk about the size of the fixture to begin with. And when we do that, we're talking about from the bottom of the fixture body to just the top of the shades where this telescoping rod starts. So we're talking 7.3 inches tall. 16.6 .6 inches square. You're going to be, this is going to be encompassing two shades. So the inner shade is a 12 inch square and the outer shade is a 16 inch square. And then um, after that we get into heights. So adjustable heights. And we're going to talk about that in a second. So uh, this is going to be using Hubberton Forge's patented telescoping rod system. Smaller rod telescopes into a bigger rod. Where they come together it's called a clutch. There's a little hex screw right here. And this comes with a little hex wrench. So during your installation, you can bring this up and down to get it as high or low over the table or down from a ceiling if you're going to be walking under it as you like within your given ranges. We'll talk about in a second. <clears throat> After you get that where you want it to be, you tighten that little screw with the little hex wrench and it stops it from going up and down. So this, it's a, a friction sleeve that's hiding inside of here. So let's go over the overall heights now. I'm really talking about from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. So there are two on this. You'll notice on a lot of other pendants there are three, but on this one there are two. So starting off we have the standard is 28 to 44.5, long is 37.7 to 54.1. If you need shorter than the short, so let's say you need to come down shorter than 28 inches or longer than the long, that means longer than 54. We do customs every single day, all day. So the best thing for you to do is email me, sales at handmadeinvermont.com. Tell me you're looking at the 139625. You need it to be X long from the ceiling down. I send that through customs. It comes back, send you a quote, add some time, adds a little money, <clears throat> but we do it every day. And non-returnable, so remember that too. So let's talk about the canopy up on the ceiling. This is going to be using a 7.65 inch square canopy that's going to be going over your four inch junction box, which you guys have flush in your ceiling. This goes right up against the ceiling. It's going to have also a, a, uh, a knuckle. Knuckle is right here, like, I can, like, like a knuckle in your finger. So there's a knuckle built into it right here. And what that does is it allows it to be slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees if you guys need that. So it's available for you automatically built in. If you need it to be flat, it's coming off a flat ceiling, you're good to go there too. So why don't we jump into what's inside of this. So you've got two sockets two porcelain sockets, medium base, which are the ones we grew up with, medium base, screw in light bulb. You're going to be limited to two 60 watt light bulbs and we're talking about incandescent bulbs. A19s are the bulbs that are recommended for this. This is around the same size as the 60 watt bulbs that we grew up with when we were kids. So just remember A19 size wise. You can put in LEDs, you can put in dimmable LEDs or it's a dimmable fixture, so you can just put it on a dimmer, basically. But um, as far as LEDs go, you can find these A19 bulbs up to 150 watts if you guys look around the Internet. It's not hard to find them on Amazon or Home Depot or those places. So that is your limit for these. And remember, there's two of them. On the bottom of this is going to be a flat, frosted diffuser. Uh, and that flat, it's a square piece of glass that fits into this. What that does is it keeps you from looking up and seeing these sockets. Um, you'll notice there's a little tiny bit of a gap between the edge of the glass and the shade itself and that gap is to allow air to come in and cool sockets in case you guys are using incandescent bulbs. So you'll notice that too. Why don't we get into shade materials. So on our website, left hand side of your screen, the red tabs, you're going to see a lampshade materials help guide. There's also a pull down menu on the right hand side. So pull down that menu where it says choose your shade fabrics and pull that down. And you're going to see a whole bunch of shade fabrics you can get. You'll notice there's an inner shade and an outer shade. Don't forget, a lot of people are going to be using the inner shade as a diffuser. So they're generally going to use one of the white fabrics. So flax, natural anna, natural linen. So light can go through that and then it can hit the back of the inner shade and what happens is it bounces up and down so you get more light out. It also looks better too, I think anyway. So you don't want to use a darker fabric inside. So you can use one of the darker fabrics outside so that's a good nice contrast where you have kind of a darker one against a lighter one. 
Uh, other option that a lot of people do is they'll do the same fabric on both. So they may do flax on flax, natural linen on natural linen, or so on and so on. That's a much softer look with no contrast. So um, the other thing is, so on the pull-down menu, you see how, what, which fabrics you can get on this, and you'll notice just beyond that on the same page near the top is a place where you can tick little boxes, put in your name and your address, and we will send you fabric samples. So the best thing to do is to do that. Um, it, these are free. They don't cost you anything, and they go out the same day. So I, I really encourage you guys to do this. It solves a lot of problems and makes you feel more confident about what you're doing. It's nice to have these in your hands. So do it. Anyway, moving on from there, why don't we talk about metal finishes. So back if you're on our website again, you're going to see a finishes help guide. Click on that for me. You're going to see a video at the top, me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes, how they look on different types of forging. Scroll down, you're going to see a color chart, and that tar chart is going to have the 10 finishes this fixture comes in. You'll notice some of the pictures have a letter A on them, some pictures have a letter B on them. That is talking about a range in variance that you can see this variation on heavy forging. This piece does not have heavy forging. Um, none of it is, it's just be the nature of the beast of how it was made. So it's going to be more in line with the pictures with a B on, on them for boy. But scroll back up and use that video and the chart. Go back and forth and you'll understand the whole thing. Uh, when you're done with that, go back to the chart and click on any of those finishes and a bigger window will pop up and you'll see more samples. So it's a good thing for you to do. So, let's, what else can we talk about? So, talking about finishes, talked about fabrics, adjustable ranges, lamping on the inside, diffuser on the bottom, canopy on the top. Uh, we have this on display in our showroom on the second floor. Um, and yeah, we do have this on the second floor. Okay, so the showroom has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. And you can see a what's on display page over on the left-hand side of your screen. Click on that. It'll show you what's here to look at. Showroom's open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m to 6 p.m. Eastern. You can call us at 802-446-2400. You can also email us all the time at sales at handmadeinvermont.com. You can ask questions, you know, tell me what you think, anything like that. Um, moving on from there, we also have a clearance center, and the clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. You have to come here to use it, so it's another great incentive for you guys to, to come visit us. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some larger items, mostly big things on pallets, are not coming back, and we'll tell you about that way ahead of time, so you don't have to worry about that. And then um, after that, we also have a rush program that takes you production time. Hubbardton doesn't have any stock. No dealer does. Everything's made to order. But their normal lead time is three to four weeks out. We can cut that in half. It's very inexpensive. Best thing to do is just drop a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out that word Vermont, so remember that too. So I think that kind of covers everything. If I forgot anything, let me know, and thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.